Yes, welcome back to Right in the Coupon for William Hill. Ned Derek Ferguson, did he? Nah, he's made hard, didn't he? Nah, you know where he is? Him and Paul Slane have got an unlikely relationship. Have They're waiting to buttons again, aren't they? <laughs> Him and coats. Carol have taken dinner. <laughs> so we've got Slaney's stepdad, Frank McAvenny, and they... Oh, f***. <laughs> 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 I can't break my leg. Thought you were meant to be in buttons. <laughs> well, listen, Frank. <laughs> Me and Derek were meant to, we were going to Butlins. We went to Butlins and we've had an absolute. Um, we've just went for each other. Right, okay. Each other's throats. Did it, baby? I did. And shut. <laughs> so what? I, I like coming in the back door as well. No <laughs> <laughs> so Frank, what we were saying, we went to Butlins and. Listen, I thought um, Lewis's tackle mm -hmm. was out of order. Aye. And I talked to them Aye. that. So the three of us end up rolling about the car park um, and I'm now up the road to, to help you out the day, Frank. Oh, yes! I need to say by you, you've got the same hairdressers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that, and I mean that. I've got my haircut finished. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? So when you met your match, you're doing it. Listen, listen, <laughs> say, I, I'm. He's on, he's on a red bra on a tee. <laughs> hey, what else is in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know, I was in LA, for, and, and, and I know I keep on saying that, but see when I was there, I used to always watch your the show, the Cooper show, and, and all I wanted today was to come and meet you. I knew that I'm here, this will be my last show I'm ever on. Right. Because, because you're happy, I, I mean, you're going to go to America, I'm bummed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but because uh, because I'm here with Frank now, I will never uh, do another show again. That's yes. me finished now. You get my wee signature in a picture, right? Legend. Right? What Legend. a team we've got Legend. today. Right, on to more serious issues. Uh, obviously, the passing of Billy McNeil, Frank. Yes. Sad day for both yourself and Celtic Football Club. Yeah, everyone. We knew it was coming, but it was, um, you know, I was gutted. I mm. never, never really asked the phone. A lot of people, BBC and cameras were wanting me to go and do something, but I couldn't. Just couldn't. I've seen Charlie on the... On TV as well, just... You probably wanted to talk about him. What it meant, what it meant to everybody was just... It was an inspiration to everybody. Uh -huh. how, how, how much... Uh, changed my life, he changed my life. Gave me a chance to play for my boyhood team. You know, he fought tooth and nail to get me. Um, it was the old board, the new money, and they wanted cheap, wanted to buy cheap again. And, you know, at that time it was... Uh, Billy fought for me, so... Uh -huh. And it, it worked, because the, the boys are across the city were big players. There was a lot of big players there. And then uh, Billy got... Celtic supporters on the team, and it, and it worked, um, so it was good. What kind of manager was he? Was he one that would put his arm around you? No, 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 sometimes, sometimes, but he'd find me all the time. Uh -huh. He was always finding me, and, and then he would give it back, he'd say, look, go and do it against Rangers, go and do it, but the big games, go and do it, and I'll give you money back. He used to give my fans back and all that, so it was, it was good. I Charlie to, Nicholas did the same, didn't he? used to, to pretend always, he was finding you. Uh, he used to be always, always, uh, always late on Monday morning, you know, I was always late. I didn't realise the camaraderie that they had at Celtic because you know you do the, the Grand National, you put the numbers at heart. Mm -hmm. Sweepy. Aye, every Monday morning we're all doing it, see what minute I was coming in at. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. The camaraderie was good, but it was. And uh, that was doing it, hadn't it? me all the time. Big Billy was great. I mean, I remember he found me once, at, I was out at Christmas, and I was only out for a meal work, and I wasn't drinking, but honestly, I wasn't drinking, I was just because I, you know, I was pretty professional <laughs> when I played, believe it or not. But I was out and he, 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 he found me and all that and I was like, can he find me? I was just out for a meal. And he shouted by me and Tom Craig in the office and, and the two of them arguing with each other and I walked out, I slammed the door. I came back in and I went, oh Gaffer, Merry effing Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked out and Tommy says he was rolling a bit laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. uh, of course everyone open goal passes on their condolences to uh, Billy McNeil's yeah. family. Yeah. Uh, right, on to the football. Slaney, we'll start with Celtic. You were at the game, disappointing result. Well, I was at the game, and the, the, the positive performance was I couldn't walk without getting noticed inside. So absolutely <laughs> amazing. I was getting pictures, and I was actually looking for the pictures. Aye. So when somebody looked at me, I would keep looking Aye. for them to catch my eye, Frank. And so I got lots and lots of pictures. Loving this fame, I'm loving yeah. the fame, and it will continue to oh, grow. Well, and it's well gonna, deserved. Yeah, absolutely. Well I'm going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. And now <laughs> people have noticed about the, the hydro. We're going to sell out the hydro as well. Can Frank come? Uh, Frank will be there. Yeah. Us three will be doing the, the hosting, oh, if you like. And anything will happen that day. Still game. That was hopeless. I, I thought still game. I thought still game was great, but when they went to the hydro, they didn't. They didn't do well for nah, me. We will do well. Aye, yeah, we'll stay on the TV. Aye. It's, it's not finished now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. See, I'm, I'm fast. <laughs> Strangely, I know what you mean. Yeah, anything else sort of sit with you too? Because I might have to do Right, the Celtic game, to us. Aye, not the Celtic game. game. Disappointing performance uh, and result. I must say that the Celtic are serial winners, but on uh, Sunday it was dross for. Mm. It was a draw's game, to be said at least. Yeah. Um, for the first minute to the 90th, honestly, nothing actually changed in the game. It was just like watching paint dry. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, me. Do you know, though, the only thing is, I think, Si, um, with Rodgers going away, I think it was 
it, it was there for two and a half year, yeah. um, and and it was it was amazing, amazing. I think it was always going to come this period when he left. A wee bit, uh, would you call it a hangover period, aye, if you like? Enough. And hang- well, he knows all that. Aye, aye. Um, a bit of Fergie. Man United. Aye. Yes. So and, and I think. Um, the, the league's in the bag, the league's in the bag, but I do think the performances have been, um, I don't know, maybe the, the, is the flip-flop suit? Mm-hmm. Well, Lenny's Lenny, 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 Is that a saying? Flip-flop suit? Uh, flip-flop suit. Lenny's not happy. He's, he's not happy with no. the dog. You can tell, you can just tell on his face. Because he, he, he's, he's one of us, he, he's passionate about the game and he, he screams and shouts. Brendan didn't do that. You know. You think the, the players are finding that hard? I don't know, I, I think they're not hard enough on him. You know, I think you're entitled to if you're a manager, you're entitled to shout to players, you know, yeah. tough luck if it, if it upsets you, who cares? Mm-hmm. See Roy Keane you know, last night, brilliant, fans, it? Roy Keane was brilliant last night, I mean, that was the, the, that's the best line I've heard, you know, that apparently the, the hair jelly players jelly. were all, all <laughs> arguing with each other, were chucking hair jelly <laughs> each other, I thought, brilliant, uh-huh. I thought, that's really hard, didn't it? Flying you out a wee top up with the no, roster? No, I'm right, I'm right, I'm so, right, I'm going to play golf, you know, tell them. Who you, you got to play with? You're looking the part, Bobby. Mate, he's playing a celebrity. Bobby's man. He's the man. But this should be the time, surely, when you're nine points clear, you should be enjoying your football and, and playing free flowing. It doesn't seem to be that. You would way think so. Case. You would think so, Sai. Si, um, mm-hmm. But certainly, even when the subs came on, um, when Sinclair came on, listen, Sinclair's been great for Celtic. But uh, there was one way Aya had the ball and he's driving forward, and Sinclair didn't even move. Uh, and, and the fans' frustration. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. There is a flat period, um, certainly, but um, it's been a long season. But it's, it's no, there's no excuse. There is no. There's no excuse. They've got a big squad. And, um, is it the forward line that, that needs freshening up, do you think? Well, Ed, Ed was the best player they've got. I mean, let's be honest about it. What's going on with the boy Buck? The boy Buck's not a No, no, no. no, 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 no. I feel for him. But he could play him somewhere else. Mm. You know, I, I, think he, I think he's wanting to rest and then put Buck out there. Yeah. You know, I don't know why. You know, and I don't know, but they spent two million on Mayo, is it? Bale? Ah, I, I don't know why he's... I've seen him. I don't know why he's maybe. be. Never seen him. No. You know, I've seen the boy Weir. Um, I, 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 I like him because he comes on. He likes to run over the top, which is different for mo- most players. But um, you know, I just think Edward saved himself for the big games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the play called Marnik Saturday, who will make it yeah. difficult for them. Well, if they don't win, Slaney thought. Is the title he's back on? No, um, and that's no. I don't think so. There's just too much a gap. I think Kamalik is probably the best team they could get. I think Kamalik are now are in holiday mode, um, mm. and that no, not really play for the symbolic performance v um, Aberdeen at the weekend. Mm. Um, three red cards. You, you do you know like ill discipline? Three red cards in the was game. Was it three? Like, was it three? Was no, Kit Broadhead was wasn't a red card for nah. me. No, nah. no. With the goalkeeper no, no. there. So I don't think yeah, I, I think um, that will be three 0 uh, Celtic. He, he, anyway. didn't, he didn't miss. He didn't miss the referee, did he, Stephen? Oh, <laughs> 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 what do you think of that? Would you? What, well, would I think you, you're entitled to. If you listen, you're entitled to. Listen, the bottom line is I've always said, see if a referee is a bad game. If I have a bad game, you get dropped. Mm. They just carry on it, as if nothing's happened. You know, there should be somebody looking at them saying, "Look, we're going to leave you." And don't give him big games because you kind of keep going on like that. Mm. He said it was because his dad played for Kilmarnock, he struggles. I, could just, I think he may have just been trying to not give him things, mm-hmm. like decisions, but... I it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter. I think, who think, you should I think it, no, whether it's him or somebody else, I think if you have a bad game, you should be demoted. Mm-hmm. You know, because referees kind of keep going on. And see, all that, see the way the people on the sidelines talk to people? I, I, it really Aye. bothers me, you know, they talk to talk into them. I yeah, don't like that. that. I see them doing that as well. Players, you know, and we've, we've spoken about it before. They should go and spend time with the clubs and spend time with the players and get to know them. Because all that talking to people, it's no good for anybody. Mm-hmm. Your pals are not me, will I call them? Crack mm. me, we crack uh, me, boy. Um, I've met a <laughs> crack me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we, would we, you we, take the rest of the clubs? I think you'd be uh, a good guy to take them round and um, nightclubs. Night nightclubs. <laughs> 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 I know we, we Willie really well. Me and Willie, um, once a month we try to get a catch up. Um, uh, we like to go to Costa. <laughs> and get a wee coffee, uh, Willie. Right. Crack me, boy, as I said. Um, but I think I think it might be. I've heard you saying it before about the referees going around the clubs. Personally speaking, if a ref came in a club, I wouldn't even speak to him or look at him. Um, <laughs> no, Frank, right, you're right, I'm only kidding, but I think you're, you're spot on, you're, you're spot on. Go in and have it and go and just mix in with the players in the train station, get to know them, get to know their personalities. See, when, it's, I always speak to, an when I always speak difference. to players, sorry for talking to you, Frank, that's actually right. very rude of me to do that. That's all right. um, but <laughs> certainly with the, say, with the, when I played, the boys always loved the referees that gave them a wee bit of banter and, yeah. and, and, and uh-huh. said, see now, as you said, I see these referees and they're saying to players, come here. Nah. And talk to him like a dog. You don't nah, do that, side. Do no way. Nah. You don't do that. You don't do Imagine somebody spoke to you like that. Well, I mean, being the referee, we're only about the ground. There, there was a few referees used to say, me, don't ever go at me because you're having a nightmare. Uh-huh. And, and you can have a laugh. That's what it's all about. That's what it's about, you know. 
Right, Hibs, uh, five points behind Kilmarnock and fourth. Yes. Unbeaten in the league under Heckenbottom. Can they catch Kilmarnock? I think so, because I think um, I think they'll beat Hearts at the weekend and, mm-hmm. and Celtic will beat Kilmarnock, so... Um, yeah, I think so. Uh-huh, so Hibs can, can finish I fourth? Think I think they've done. Listen, what a job he's done, that guy. He's done brilliant. Yeah. It, it might be the best thing that's happened to him, but the other guy's saying no. Uh-huh. That might be the best thing that's happened to Hibs because um, they're doing very well. I'll tell you one thing, the boy Stevie Marley's technique is absolutely uh-huh, he's beautiful. Got uh-huh. Uh-huh. Beautiful, uh-huh. I like that. Uh-huh. But I want to watch it when I see him. Great, I love that to see players with that. Um, you know, a good player, that boy. Don't yeah, know good. Got much. Uh, great. Uh, Rangers v Hearts, straightforward victory for Rangers at Tyne Castle. Surprised at Hearts' performance, uh, especially at home. I don't know what's happened to Hearts. I really so don't. Derek was, Derek was saying that he, he thinks it would be comfortable. I didn't think so. I thought Levine would have come in and said, you're playing for your cup final places. Mm. Instead of just switching off, you know, because you can't do that. No. If, if he thinks he can just stroll through to the cup final, they'll get battered with Celtic because you can't do that. You can't just switch on and off, you know, yourself. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, you're right. Is it frustrating for Rangers fans when they see the team playing like this? Certainly. Why, why they couldn't do it when it was, it was tight? It was no, I, th- that will be a frustration. And I've seen it before happening um, in other leagues when, the, when the, sort of maybe the league's over or whatever, they start to see the results. Um, the only thing it'll be prom- I think it will be promising for the fans for next season they're starting to see the performances but it certainly will be disappointing because when the crunch games came Si um, they never delivered yeah, right. uh, and, and the home games uh, they were drawn at home to St John stuff not acceptable so um, the analysis is built I've been brilliant I, I really a great, used to I must say Si the analysis today it's been good I must, it's last good. night I was talking to my, my, my dad he said when you know me Frank don't go in there and act like a clown he said I'm telling you right now <laughs> and you've just not done it you just went and find him no he said he said <laughs> it's a show of total respect so I certainly I, I've just sort of changed my game a bit and I will not be messing about at all a wee lunch maybe after oh, we're going to golf together go I'm going to be in the caddy oh, you go- I'm going to go there I'll do the caddy in the day um, Rangers so we'll see these performances will Steven Gerrard take that next year or will he know that there's boys playing he'll know who he's done it during the season yeah. listen there's no point turning up when the season's finished really you know what I mean? You're, what's, what's happening to playing for their place next year? Mm. That's too late. You've got to do it all for the start of the season. When you're playing at Celtic and Rangers, you've got to do it for the first game. You can't be pointing just saying, oh, the game's, the season's over. Now we'll turn it on and start showboating and all that. I mean, mm. to be fair, Stephen Davis has come back. He's playing Looks fairly well. Looks fitter, doesn't he? Looks and all yeah. that. He's come up here and he's done that. And, and Defoe, I like Defoe anyway, so yeah. I think he's, he's better than better for the team than what Morales is. Morales is a one-man show. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a big overhaul of players at, at Rangers this summer? No, I, you need to be careful I, with that I, as well. I think there's a couple of boys coming in, and the boy from Motherwell, Jones and uh, uh, Hasty. Jones uh, is coming in for Kamar and, and Hasty for Motherwell, which is that's in their good prospects. That's all they are. They're good prospects. If they can step up to the, the grade, but a lot of people can. So mm. I'll, I'll reserve judgment on that. Okay, uh, Slaney Hart, how concerned will they be with a big cup final coming up the way that they're playing just oh. now? I don't know Have you were Craig Levine? What would, would it be a wee rocket to the players? I think yeah, I think it's got to be. Mm. Yes, I um, and then there's no talk about if if the cup final does not uh, become Hearts' trophy, Craig Levine could be out of job now. I don't know who's going to have the balls to sack him. Mm. <laughs> Why not? He's one of the most no. scariest guys I've ever seen. Why don't you go and give them a cup of the balls? Do you know what, do, drills, do, 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 <laughs> You're spot on. And do you know what, see Hearts, they've got to be... And as much as I don't like it, Aberdeen done it out here in the semi-final and I don't like that type of football. When you're going to play Celtic, you must be physical, you must be hard to beat for a start. Yeah. The first 5, 10, 15 minutes is where the battle must be won. So they must uh, turn up, be physical, hard to beat, <laughs> and, and, then, and then we'll see how the game goes. I do believe it will be 5-0 to Celtic in the final, whatever. So we'll see how it goes, Frank, no, didn't we? I think, I think. I should start to get in my heat now. <laughs> in the morning that's stuff. I take it at night <laughs> <laughs> right, right. so if Craig Levine say he doesn't win the Scottish Cup final they get beat for Hearts in the, in the derby again mm-hmm. could he be about the end of the season I don't know I think they've done alright haven't they I mean the, the biggest problem is are they going to get Naismith next year because mm, that's the biggest morning, yeah. he's, a, he's the biggest um, I think he's the best player they've got the, the boy that I could beat you I could beat you yeah bless you Every time they're talking about him playing going to Celtic Rangers, you're joking me. It's no, he's just a, he's a good player for for a team like Hearts, uh-huh. um, and he'd be a good foil for Naismith. But with him, um, and the kid is John Sutton or someone who for me is the best defender. I'm talking about Rangers going to Rangers again. I mean, I was laughing because if it, these are the players, Hasty um, Jones, Sutter, if that's the players that's going to try and stop Celtic next year, then you're, they're in for a hard time. I don't know. Because I, I think Celtic will, will spend. Mm. So I think, you know, and the players that they've got at the moment, 
they're better players than Rangers, so I don't think that's going to get them close to Celtic, the kind of players. Right. That's the kind of standard they're going to go for. I mean, they're good players, don't get me wrong, good players, but whether they can step up, I don't know, it's a and chance. And leagues, and it's, a, it's a gamble to, yeah. to go and challenge for leagues, and I just don't know. Okay. Uh, relegation, Slaney, you ever been involved in it? Look, you spaced it there. Aye, uh, aye, no, sorry, I've just asked that to really get to me. Oh. Um, no, aye, we, we air. Um, Did we, you fold? We were just crumbling. Um, <laughs> the, the dressing room, people say, but the dressing room can be a bad place. The dressing room was amazing. Um, <laughs> the dressing room was wild, regardless of the relegation. Um, is that why he's got relegated? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably was, actually. Actually, I'm not even joking here. We, the Air had won the first four games of the... Uh, the league, uh, they started the league, they won the first four games and we're talking about them getting promoted. Mm. I signed and I, <laughs> free for, no joke, we just didn't win another game. Yeah, was yeah. I bothered? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but on the relegation, who, Dundee, Dundee, you hit your away, six I points. Think, I think St Mirren's done brilliant. So really well. We were, we were talking about Dundee, Hamilton and, and St Mirren, but St Mirren, you know, they, they must be gutted because they've won a couple of games, but the other results have went, mm. no went their way. So, um, you think they'll catch Atkins, Jake? I think they could catch Aki's eye, I think so. I think so. It's, um, I think they'll win tomorrow, I don't think. Cause that's going to be, that's just non existent that game at the Mora Hamilton. Livingston. Livingston. Aye. You know, Crap. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you know, beach ball and all that, uh, but deck chairs and all that kind of I don't of know, stuff. I, I haven't have got to win to stay, to, uh, to stay at that playoff. Livingston's but... a big team, a big physical team, and <coughs> I don't know if Ham, Hamilton have got the players that can go up and, and fight them. So give us a wee prediction, he'll finish bottom, he'll finish second bottom. He'll finish bottom. Who's at the bottom now? Who's Dundee. It? Dundee. They're, 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 I don't think they want to get in our game. No. Do they need to win their next four? I, I, think, I, think, I think they want in our game. I honestly don't. So, um, Hamilton will finish under St. Man, I think. Well, big shit. What about you, Slinny? Who do you fancy for that second bottom? Um, I, certainly Hamilton. I think it'll be Hamilton uh, 100%. Uh, why? Um, just with the. Uh, Man's on a roll, aren't they? Uh, Man's uh, uh, on a roll, as Frank yeah. said. Orin Tieran has been absolutely uh, brilliant. Um, Orin who? Orin Tieran. Kearney. 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 Yeah, Kearney. I think it's Jimmy. Jimmy Nichols is a big man. Yeah. He's, he's went in. Jimmy's a good coach. Uh -huh. and he's, and he's a buffer with because he's been in the changing rooms. Oh, oh, I've heard that, I've heard these guys. He's a good lad, so he'll be ah, great guy. He'll be in there. Right, okay, on to the coup. Frank's a master at this, by the way. Really good. You're the king of the 12. I, I'm a, I, I, I always, I always got to my. See, my dad has a wee drink on a Friday night, and I always got when he's had a wee drink he's, and he's feeling drunk, and I always go into his wallet and get a fiver. And then on the Saturday, Frank, I go and put my coupons on. Well, I, two, I put two, on. Two feet oh, I used to do <laughs> that. Never a two feet section. I did it. I did it. it. The both the scores is a great one because your bet's never finished. Uh, so you're right to the 90 minutes, uh, but I never, it's, it's a hard one to come in. Uh -huh. I don't know what's happened with the goals in football. It's certainly, uh, um, there's a lack of goals. Because people don't shoot. You're right, it's all this Alan's pish and the pish. Oh, this is my penalty. This will be your last time on the show, Slaney. Kim, you want to go first or we'll let the guests go first? Go on, Slaney, get the winner in first. You ready? First time on the. I think you're going to get a winner. Yeah, right. Celtic versus Kilmarnock. Celtic 3, Kilmarnock 0. He's going for scores as well. I'll do the scores. He's a step above this. Absolutely. Motherwell versus Dundee. Mullow versus Dundee, Mullowell 2, Dundee 0. No, I don't believe Dundee will have a shot on goal. There you go. There you go. It's a good bet. Yeah, mate. me. Uh, Hibs versus Hearts. Hibs versus Hearts. I believe it will be Hibs 3, Hearts 1. Um, I have Hearts 3, uh, 3 <laughs> 1. I don't know what to say. I thought there was going to be a wee bit of I was going to say, there'll be bad in the game. And finally, you've got Rangers versus Aberdeen. Rangers, Aberdeen, uh, I believe, um, as I've said, uh, a few clubs now, I believe Aberdeen are in holiday mode. Um, Nothing. Are they hangs to play for Aberdeen? Yeah. No. Third, third, third. Third. Mm. third. Well, it's nothing, is it? Bronze medal? <laughs> Not for me. No. Um, <laughs> certainly, I think um, Rangers will take that. Um, I believe that will be 3 1. 3 1 to Rangers? 3 1 to Rangers. Are you going correct scores or are you just going? No, you know, know how hard it is. Uh, right, uh, Celtic v Kelly. Celtic, they've got to, they've got to just honour the, 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 the captain, the, the manager, and, and turn up a performance. And people say it might be a bit dead, but. It shouldn't be that way. The, the players are good and, and on a big bully. And, and Maybe going to play with number five on the, the, their back. Yeah, they're amazing. talking about doing that for the final, putting it in the evening in the socks. Be great. Be great. Yeah. Be good. Okay, uh, Motherwell versus Dundee. Motherwell, I think Motherwell will beat them. Slain says they'll beat them comfortably. Okay, um, St Mum versus St Johnston. Going for St Mum, you know, and I think they're, they're on a roll and it's a home tie and, you know, that everyone will be in Paisley and dipping each other's pockets and all that. <laughs> 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 uh, I 
I'm going for Hibs, yeah, I'm going for a win. I, I, don't, I was going to take a draw, but I, I, I think Hibs are knocking. I think Hibs, Hibs at home. And you two are going to the Hamilton Livingston game Saturday? Aye, we're going for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no going to that. Laz, thanks very much. Thanks very much, guys. A pleasure.